Hey, what's up guys? Double Wide 6 and um, up here I have this Toro in here and I actually just fixed this thing about maybe four or five weeks ago and the issue before was the guy was mowing under a tree and he banged up the throttle spring here and it was running really really fast I think it was running so I, I just you know adjusted that for him gave it back and now he just gave me a call and he said that there's fuel dripping out of the carburetor and you could see the fuel on the deck and if you look closely in here by the uh, air filter you could see it uh, dripping right off the corner right there's a drip being formed so uh, not sure if we have a needle and seat a float problem or possibly like a, a vacuum type problem so um, we're gonna dive in here and see what we find he said he was trying to start it wouldn't start and I figured he might have flooded it but uh, now it's like pumping out gas so I'm gonna start out just taking off the cover here and we're gonna get in here to this carburetor It's really dripping out of there, so we're going to have to pull off this air filter cover. Just get this out of the way. And looks like we're going to be into the carburetor on this guy. Just making sure there's a gasket here. And there is, that looks good. I think, uh, you know, we're going to have to pull the carb off and uh, I have a feeling the uh, needle's not seating. Alright, we're going to pull this carburetor off. This one's not going to fit in there. Well, I'm thinking I can pull this fuel line and then kind of sneak in here. There we go. Now, I never uh, serviced the carburetor on this unit. And the, the mower looked like it was in good shape last time I had it. Real good shape. There we go. Alright. And it looks like we have a quarter inch up top. You're going to have to bear with me. I'm working on a new tool setup. Trying to get a little more organized, like my buddy Bruce Pender. So, uh, trying to get uh, my tools all in boxes and organized. And that one's not the right size. Uh, yeah, I have. I'll have to show you the setup I'm working out of. I'm working out of a tool cart, and I like it. It's just new to me, so it's taken a little bit of time for me to actually 
get used to. And I'm just taking a look at all these springs in here. I don't know if this carb was ever removed. It looks pretty dirty, at least on the outside. So, uh, this is the Harbor Freight cart. And I got the side shelf for it. That was kind of an extra. And I've got all my sockets set up. I went all Tecton. Uh, I had the half inch set, really liked it, and I have other sockets over there, they're I think like a Husky brand, but uh, I went with the Tecton so that I could set it up on these uh, different stands, and these things are called the Hanson socket trays, so you have metric and standard, that's the gray and red, I got magnets here, and the idea is to actually uh, just make this uh, rolling toolbox kind of my small engine stuff. And, you know, here's pliers. And you can see I, I have it all, you know, kind of set up and organized. And I'm still sort of filling it up. So as I work on projects, I, I keep adding and leaving tools here. But... Um, I'm liking a cart, it's just taking a little time to get used to. And the other thing, I just put a, a big box in here, and uh, I'll probably make a, a video. And you can see this for me, this is really clean. This is the cleanest um, I've ever had uh, things in here. So um, I'll make a video. So just keep posted for that. We'll show you. Uh, an update. I've just been real busy though. So let's take a look at this carb and figure out uh, what's going on with it here. Alright, I blew it off with some compressed air and I'll just try and get in here and see what's going on. I don't think the float will be filled up with fuel because it should be a plastic float. Yeah. So let me just grab a towel. Need a pliers. Uh. All right. Yeah, this seems good. Just looking in here at this seat this gasket looks a little loose I don't know if that would allow air and cause a leak like I was talking about a possible vacuum leak this needle and seat doesn't look terrible but I, I'm not liking this bowl gasket it's really not much to this carb I'm actually thinking the, the problems that bowl gasket um, I'm gonna test out the needle and seat so we'll put this back together and I'll put that hinge pin in now I have seen these floats sag down you know like uh, over time 
that. Oh, it should be pretty level. I don't know, let's see. I'm going to blow some air in this and see what happens. That's leaking. I'll push down on it a little. I think the problem's actually the the float. I think it's actually bent or warped. That's kind of what happens with these plastic floats. So uh, I'm thinking I'm just going to get another one and put it in there. All right. What I want you guys to take a look at is I don't know well you can see it, but the the float is higher on this side than it is back here, so we really need that to be level. Um, I could go ahead and bend this plastic, but uh, I don't really want to do that because I, I don't want this guy bringing it back. And he's in a bit of a pinch and needs to get his yard cut. Here's another Briggs carb, and you can see that this one's perfectly level. Um, this has the darker plastic, but I'm pretty sure these floats are the same size. Um, I wonder if this plastic's any better. This is a bit of an older carburetor, and this is one that has uh, the, I think it has an auto choke on this mower, so uh, that shouldn't affect this, but, uh, you know, maybe they used a different material back in the day. So, uh, let's just switch these up quick one thing when you keep carburetors make sure you take the uh, old fuel out all right so we'll switch this one up I'm gonna switch everything And then we'll blow a little air in there and see if that makes a difference. And if it does, I'm just going to go ahead, clean the carb good, and reassemble it. And then I'll, I actually got to cut a little bit of my yard. I can use it and we'll see if it, well, I'll see if it starts and works. All right, so there we go. It's it's on there, and now I'm gonna apply some air. So seems like it's sealing very well. So I think what I'm gonna do is uh, go ahead clean this carburetor, and uh, we should be good to go here. Well, I was going to change out the seat, but I only have Tecumseh seats. i got to order them. So, we're going to try the old Q-tip drill cleaning. And, like I said, the, the seat really didn't look too bad. So, we'll just give it a polishing. Pulled some dirt out, so hopefully that's good. You don't want to get too much of that carb cleaner on there. Uh, I guess what I'm going to do is just clean out the, ra the rest of these passages and uh, we'll put a new bowl gasket on and reassemble it. Another thing you want to do is where that gasket seats there, you want to make sure you get all that oxidation off of there. And I used this little this little brush I hooked up to a uh, it's like a motor from a dishwasher. And I use that all the time for carburetor cleaning. Just stuff like that and the bowls. Alright. 
got it back together. Things are looking good. Uh, I put a new uh, O-ring on the bowl, and uh, we're going to put this back on the mower and give it a shot. Hopefully it works. So I'm happy to have this guy as a customer because he lives really close to me. And uh, he's got a big German Shepherd, and he's always out walking this dog, and he's coming by my house like all the time. And he uh, he came up one day and he he said, uh, "Do you work on lawnmowers?" I said, "Yeah." And he you know he told me what was wrong with his mower, and I you know I said, "Sure, I'll take a look at it, not a problem." And he said that he had called the Albright's, the hardware store over here, and they told him that it was like a two or three week wait just to get his mower in there. Um, so he was real happy to find me. So I'd like to keep him as a customer, so I want to do a good job for him here. So we're just about there. Um, I'm going to zip this thing back together. Here's a look at the springs in here so you can see how they go. This one stretches from this little tip here all the way back here. So that's how that one goes. And we're just going to tighten these up. I'm using a nut drive that seems to get in here the best. So that looks pretty good. Um, one other thing, I'm going to clean this up and I'm going to replace the uh, air filter on here because the other one is drenched in gas. And there's a gasket here and I've seen these things, this plastic actually warp and That'll actually cause, if you have a primer lawnmower, it'll cause the lawnmower not to prime because it'll be an air leak. So uh, I'm going to clean this up. This one looks good and doesn't have a primer, so it shouldn't be a problem. And we'll put that back on. So we are about done here. Just going to put on a new filter and seal it up. I actually uh, <clears throat> did something really stupid today. A, a guy came over with a tractor and had an electrical problem. And I, I was pushing in his brake switch. And I told him to, to crank it to see if that would work. And he stepped on the, the brake pedal. And uh, turns out he uh, smashed my finger. Now I guess it was my fault, but right up here, and man, talk about throbbing pain. Thing, I, I heard the thing around noon today, and it's 8.30 at night now, and the thing's probably going to look a lot worse. I was going to take my little micro drill bit and screw it in and, and relieve the blood blister there, but... Uh, I set up the drill and I was trying to do it left handed and basically I, I was uh, too scared to do it. thing hurt so bad um, and I didn't definitely didn't want like my wife doing it. So it is what it is. Live and learn. So we'll try and start it up. Hopefully it starts. He said it wouldn't start but I think he had the thing flooded. So, we'll see what we get. Guess there's not a timer. No. Didn't have one five minutes ago.
Alright guys, pretty happy with that. Uh, you notice it took a few pulls there in the beginning. That was just caused by uh, flooding. Because he probably just brought this mower over about an hour and a half ago. I wasn't home. He dropped it off. So uh, anyhow, I'm double wide six. And if you haven't hit that notification bell, please hit it. Got a whole bunch of repair videos. All kinds of different genre, gen, genre, genres bunch of different videos out there guys and uh, like I said I'm probably gonna be making a video on the uh, tool cart so as I said I switched over to a tool cart and it's new I'm getting used to it but I am liking it and uh, like I said I'm very organized so you can uh, check out some links below this video to some of the organizers and that stuff and we're gonna make a video of the Husky box and the uh, U.S. General box. So that'll be coming up. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching.